Hello everyone and welcome to Bex Flavor. So today we will be making this wonderful Garo photo. So if you're interested, stay tuned and find out how it's done. This is the list of ingredients what we'll be needing to make our delicious Garo photo. So traditionally Garo photo is made with um, fresh tomatoes, onions and peppers grinded and then with some palm oil but this Garo photo has got swag. Okay, so stay tuned and find out. So in your heated pan, you will add some onions and your scotch bonnet and let it all fry together. Then you add your garlic paste and your ginger paste to it so all the measurements are on the ingredient list so you can refer back to that if you need to make sure you stir everything together to make sure everything is evenly cooked then after about two minutes you add your chopped tomatoes into the mixture and you stir everything together Now I'm just going to add my shrimp powder, my curry powder and my all-purpose seasoning powder to our stew to give it that extra flavour because remember, you know, we're making garifoto with the swag. So I'm also adding my shrimp cube and my maggi cube. Making sure that you stir everything together so that it doesn't you know it gets stuck in one place so after about five minutes I check on my stew and make sure I stir it so it doesn't get stuck on the bottom So now I'm adding my corned beef into the stew. The stew is looking almost done. Um, to find out if your stew is done, you have to like see are you forming um, on top of the stew. That's where you know that your stew is done. So now I'm gonna add my peppers, my green um, peppers and my carrots, my spring onions. You can add any other vegetables that you so please but this is what I like to use because I like the texture and the flavour that it gives to the garifuta. I've just wet my garifuta a little bit to make it a bit moist so that if you know you add it to the stew it's going to have that nice soft touch to it. Now the stew is all done make sure you don't leave it on the fire for too long otherwise your vegetables will get all soggy um, and you don't really want that unless that's what you like hey go for it so now that our stew is finished cooking i'm just going to add it to the gary and mix it all together you can add less stew or more stew depending on the texture you're trying to go for if you want it a bit dry side you add less stew if you want it very moist and soft you add more stew so everything that floats your boat really mix and stir everything together and there you have it a lovely garifuta you can have it for lunch or dinner or breakfast anything you want just go for it so hope you enjoyed watching stay tuned like thumbs up subscribe share and we'll see you next time see ya